Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barn on 11970. Thanks for checking out this video. Interesting day today. Sometimes you just need days to vent. That's just normal. It's a good way to deal with things. It's like having a, uh, a bottle of soda that's the cap is on and you shake it. Um, opening it up a little bit gets the air out and it allows it to vent, stopping it from ever potentially exploding. So today was a good day for that, and I learned a lot. But I want to ask people questions because what my channel is primarily about is finding alternative viewpoints for asking questions, for not being afraid and trying to stand up. And um, sometimes it could be an unrewarding experience where you'll have friends and family disown you. You'll have strangers make judgments on you. Um, there will be people that get paid to hate you or discredit you, and some just do it for the fun of it. And, I mean, I'm not here to sell books. I'm not here to make anyone believe a certain agenda. I'm just here to say I am a person who's trying to care and sacrificing their free time to do these things, to get others to say, wait a minute, what's wrong with thinking on my own? What's wrong with going against what I've been told? Why is it I am so afraid? Because if you really think of it, uh, it, throughout history, do more people follow because they're in love with somebody or are they afraid of someone? I mean, look at all the tyrannical leaders throughout history. People did not follow them because they loved them. They followed them because they were afraid. And people sometimes will do anything for fear. And there's a picture that I posted that you'll see on the main um, picture for this video where you'll see millions of people that lined up to see Hitler give his speech in 1938, which, by the way, he was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. And there are people out there who are just doing their job, who will look the other way, who will always do what they're told, who will believe everything that they're programmed to believe without question. And if that's your choice, that's fine. But is it so wrong for people to want to say, here's a view that's been told to me. Let me check it for myself. And if I find something different, is it, is it not okay to point out my, my change of heart or my, dis my digressions towards it or my non-belief of it? Because look at it this way. If you're a follower... You do what you're told. You believe everything that's been said to you. You don't learn anything on your own. The things you learn are based on what other people have told you to believe. And you're basing it on the hopes that whoever taught you was being honest or knew the facts straight. How can people go through life without questioning things? Why did that become something that people should be hated for, attacked for, and ridiculed for? Because I've never made a video where I've ever said, this is the absolute truth, you have to believe it 100%, just believe it because I said it. I've always told people to question things, even the things that I do. But there's people out there there's millions of people out there who it's just because it's easier to just do their job and look the other way and go to a restaurant, for example, while there's homeless people outside starving and just walk past them like they don't matter. To be able to see people abusing animals and not care. So that's why, yes, the video I made a couple of days ago, you know, there, is, there are some individuals who think I actually staged that, and I think that's pretty sad, and, you know, they're entitled to their opinion. Uh, no matter what I say, it's not going to convince them otherwise anyway. But when I showed some emotion, it's real. It's genuine. It shows that I have a heart, that it actually affects me to know that there are people out there who would find it fun to hurt other creatures. To me, that's pathetic, and it makes me angry, and yes, it makes me upset. And a real man, a real strong man, or strong woman, is not afraid to show their emotion. Hiding it shows cowardice. And until we realize that we are all supposed to work together, how are we ever going to fix this program that we're in? Because that's what it is. Because look at what governments do. They use fear. 
They use pro the programming. Programming is when they say, this is the way it happened. Don't look any other way. Don't question it. Don't even acknowledge it. Just believe us and do what you're told and keep running the machine so we could profit off of you. And we accept this because they hand us a couple of trinkets. They give us a couple of debt notes. And we're proud of this. I'm proud of the fact that when I used to work in Manhattan when I was younger, when I saw a homeless person, someone in need, I didn't ask them if they were faking it. I didn't look the other way. I gave them what little I could. Because you're supposed to help people. But yet there will be people that will actually thumb down this video without even watching it because they hate me. Whether they get paid to do it or they're just evil in their hearts. And you know... I put my face on the line. I don't hide behind a computer and and hide my face. Or I'm not a person that's not afraid to, to go against what the mainstream people talk about. The masses are nothing more than followers. They do what they're told. They're taught how to think. They're, they're told what history is. They're told who to believe in. And they don't question it. They don't take any effort. To look into things. I have posted, you know, like I talk about things like the Act of 1871. And some people think it's, it's irrelevant. They, you can think whatever you want. It's not my job to tell you how to think. But when I go to mainstream channels like Peter Schiff and Mike Maloney and Gerald Salente and all these people that are supposedly talking in truth. And I ask them, even Jesse Ventura, all of them, Ron Paul, Sites. Now, I, mean, I I am realistic. I know they can't always answer to people, but there are times where I see them answering questions above and below my question, and they won't even acknowledge it. Why is there so much fear? What are you afraid of? I mean, I have been putting my face on the line since 2011, where I've been every day, nonstop, pretty much attacked, ridiculed, insulted, ignored. People don't seem to think that behind this computer screen is an average person who ha does have feelings, who does have emotions, who does get hurt and affected. I'm just strong enough to vent about it, move on, and become even stronger. It's the cowards that hide behind computers, un too afraid to show their faces. It's cowards that look the other way while somebody else is being beaten. Those are the real cowards. And people like myself and so many others, they put their face on the line to try and spend time to help other people. They don't ap get appreciated. They always seem to get attacked or ignored. And you know what? I'm not here selling you information. And like even the things that I do sell, my Oregon pyramids and my organic products and all those things, every single thing that I sell, I have an instructional video that I've made free of charge that teaches you how to make them on your own. And yet you see people like, for example, some of the bigger names that sell gold and they talk about gold and silver, they happen to sell the very thing that they are talking about. And people never stop and think, wait a minute, maybe there is a little bit of an agenda. And that's why I stopped listening to a lot of the bigger name people. I mean, I still believe in the whole physical gold and silver thing as a protection, but I wish I knew back in 2011 what I know now. And I was fooled into that hype of the Max Kaisers of the world telling you, oh, you know, it's going to skyrocket to the moon and bitcoins are going to be a million dollars and all these other things. We get fooled so easily because a lot of us can be trusting. But there's nothing wrong with that. But until we fix the world, we're going to be settling for mediocrity all of our lives. And that is a choice, my friends. For you to hate me because I speak what most people are too afraid to say, that's more a reflection of you as a person than me. Because no matter how much I've been attacked, no matter how many thumbs down I get on videos, no matter how many people make videos that make assumptions about me, that make accusations, that threaten me, I'm not going to stop because I'm not afraid. And I wish more people would do that and stand up. And stop settling for the little breadcrumbs that these elitist people throw at you to keep you quiet. Why is it so hard to learn? You're not always going to learn the right things. Believe me, I've learned that. I've made mistakes. But that's how you grow. That's how you gain wisdom. Instead of somebody just sitting you down, 
having you face front, raise your hand when you're spoken to, and listen to what we program into your brain and accept it for what it is. And we find more and more of those things are wrong or flat out lies. And we just say, oh, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. You know what? If you think that way, you're absolutely right because you won't do anything about it. Throughout history, governments, tyrannical politicians, leaders have all shown where their loyalties are. Actions speak louder than words. And yet we will applaud every time somebody says something that we want to hear. And they make excuses after excuses of why they don't follow up on things. But when they need your votes, they're your best friend. Well, when they got them, they no longer care. It's like it's like a car salesman. Do you ever go in and want to buy a car? And as soon as you walk through the door, salesman's right on top of you. He's like, oh, that's so glad to see you. And I, I like that shirt. And, oh, your wife looks so beautiful. And your kids are so adorable. And, you know, let me help you in any way possible. And I'll, I'll be here to answer any questions. And as soon as you sign that contract, they're nowhere to be found. How does that feel? So I know my videos are not ever going to be popular. I don't do it for that. I know my videos are going to be constantly attacked. I accept that. But for people that do care, to sit idly by is only allowing evil to continue. Evil exists or corruption exists when good men decide to do nothing. I don't know the exact quote, and I don't care to get it exactly right. If somebody wants to post it, please do. And that's why I keep it real. I don't edit my videos because I want people to see this is just an average person who is passionate, who wants to help others, who sacrifices his own time. Do you know how easy it would be for me to start a video game channel or talk about, you know, bikini models? and get millions of people starting to watch, you know how much easier my life would be? I do this because it's right. And I want more people to do things because it's right. And sometimes you have to have sacrifices. I've lost a lot of friends. I've lo Family members have ignored me for doing nothing more than wanting to help them. And I wouldn't change a thing. And that's the funny part. Because I don't do this for the reward, because there is very little reward, let me tell you. But it shows my inner strength throughout the judgments, throughout the attacks. I'm proud of the fact that instead of just believing everything I'm told, I will actually go out and purchase things that will help educate me and make me stronger. And that people can make attacks on me, and yet I still stand. They'll either distract you with fear or they'll distract you with entertainment. But either way, it's a distraction. And it will not last forever. But it will last as long as we allow it. And how long are you going to sit there and allow evil men and evil women to keep doing evil? Because I can guarantee you tomorrow, if if the government wanted to really come and get me and they made up some news article saying I'm some evil terrorist and I supposedly did this, this, and that, I bet 90% of the people who supposedly are on my side here would think that I actually did it because the media said so. And I think that's a sad, dangerous thing. But I'm unafraid because you know what? Here I am showing who I am unafraid. I've had situations where I wanted to fight people in the past. Situations that I'm not proud of. I didn't dodge them. I didn't pretend they didn't exist. I faced them. I dealt with them. That's what you're supposed to do. And at the very least, don't you wish your politicians would do that? Don't you wish the media would do that? Instead of all of them, no matter what channel you flip on, they're all saying the same thing about an event. No questioning it. No asking if there's something different, no presenting of other facts, even if they might sound crazy. Anyone ever hear the expression, truth is greater than fiction? Be strong. Look at yourself in the mirror. If you're spending all of your days judging other people, it's not me that's the problem, it's you. And there's a reason for it. I hold no ill will to anyone. 
to the Santrice 13s out the, there for the in the world, to the um, Escape Mental Mike, who I had the issue with earlier, to people like who else? I don't even remember anymore because I mean honestly I don't care. Uh, the New York Critic to um, the News Unit to anyone else. You're human beings. I wish you well. I don't know you, and some of you, I just, I've learned that if you have nothing nice to say, you really say nothing at all. It's not always easy, but I've never gone out of my way to instigate something with someone. Anything I've ever done has been in response, which is my own fault, my own stupidity, and I take full responsibility for that. But not one of those people have I ever gone on their channel before they even knew who I was and tried to start something with them. And, you know, the old Italian stubborn person in me always feels like I should have a say. I should talk back. Because to me, I'm old school. If somebody ever had a problem, you talk face to face and you man it out. I've never been so shocked by the amount of people who hide behind a computer and make judgments and, and insult and try and hurt fellow men and fellow women. How do you be proud? How do you sleep at night knowing you're spending your days hurting others? Well, the people at the top love you for that. Because you're helping them put more money in their pocket. You're helping them from keeping the information from ever getting out. Is that something to be proud of? So anyway, trust me when I say, I am not giving up on this. Yeah, there's times I've wanted to, even times I even said so. But obviously you could see, since I've been here since 2011, because I had an old channel born on 11967, there has not been a day where I haven't been abused from somebody. But a strong person can take it. But that doesn't mean it doesn't affect me. I'm a human. I'm a person. I could never do that to somebody else. And I've done my wrongs. Make up make up for what you do wrong. If you've done something in your life that you regret, make up for it. Don't try and hide it. Don't ignore it. That's fear taking over. And don't just believe everything that you're told. Question it. There's nothing wrong with that. And if somebody makes you feel bad because you question things or you think differently from them, then screw them. Like I said, when Hitler had his me, I have a picture that you could see here that when Hitler had his speech, there were millions lined up because they were doing what they were told out of fear or out of ignorance. How did that work out? If you think this is a different time in history where those things are not possibilities, then you are either part of the problem or you're just too clueless. You probably wouldn't be watching this video anyway. You'd be caring about what some other famous YouTuber is doing. And I will give out this information freely. There will be no books for me to sell. I will not ask you to buy a DVD. I will not make you stay tuned for the next video to get you to come back. I'll just say it. Don't you wish other people would do that? There's such hypocrisy in this world. And I love the fact that I care enough to even talk about it, to vent about it, to a bunch of strangers where 99% of the people who watch won't even care. I do it for me, and I do it for the ones who do, because that's important. And if I get one more person to say, you know what? Maybe what he's saying is actually right. Let me change a little bit. Let me research a little bit. Then that means I did my job and it made it worthwhile. And that's why I don't give up. And that's why if you see on the headline of my YouTube channel, it says uniting the people one person at a time. Would I love to have millions of people viewing? Absolutely. Would I love to be adored for what I'm doing? Sure wouldn't hurt. But I can handle everything that's been done to me. And I know it's not over. And it never will be, probably. And the cowards that would actually hurt their fellow man for profit, you should be ashamed of yourselves. You're sellouts and traitors. And those people are not watching this far. The ones that, if you're watching it at this point, you're a true patriot. You're a true human being who cares. Or you're just waiting for me to become overdramatic and, you know, do something stupid. Which, I'm sorry to disappoint you, it's not going to happen. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't even drink soda or coffee. I don't smoke. I don't, I don't take prescription medicines. I try and better myself. 
no, people can ridicule all they want. I'm going to be 44 in November. And I think considering all the attacks I've gotten and the way I've been treated, I think I've handled this pretty well. So to those of you who care, don't worry. Don't say things like, you know, this will pass and you don't have to do this. And you don't. I know what I do and do not have to do. I do it because this is my choice. Just like what you do is your choice. If you, if you choose to do nothing, don't be surprised that nothing changes. If you choose to be afraid, don't be surprised that there will be people scaring you your whole life. If you choose to be evil, don't be surprised that evil follows you. Because if you know anything about the criminal element in this world, there is no honor amongst thieves. They'll just take what they can get from you until you are no longer worth it for them, and then you'll just be another throwaway victim. And one day you will wake up regretting your life. And that's the beautiful thing. Despite all the things I've gone through in this channel, despite all the family I might have lost and the friends who ignore me, I've gained a lot of good people. My Facebook page is full of nothing but amazing people that I've never even met that are nothing but kind and supportive. To me, it makes it worthwhile to know that on my last day on this earth, whenever that is, I can look back and say, I tried. I cared. I felt. I loved. Maybe not the best in any of those categories. But I have no regret. If you regret, then fix it. Because one day you might. And usually when most people regret, it's usually too late to change anything or do anything about it. Don't ever do that to yourself. This is Chris, a.k.a. Barn on 11970. This is my YouTube channel. This is what to expect. If you like it, thumb it up, share it, favor it, subscribe. But just realize, I'm not going to get everything right. My intentions are pure. But I'm not afraid. And I hope you won't be either. Thanks for watching. Peace.